Here we have a 2007 Audi A4 S-Line TDI in red, starting with the offside front tyre. Looking at the tread depth there, we're looking at about 4mm offside front alloys. You can see the S-Line alloys here. There is quite a bit of curbing around the outside edge, so definitely going to require a refurb. Looking around the arch, you can see this bit of paint peel that has started to rust as well. So be aware of that, you've got a bit of paint bubbling on the inside of the arch there. Also some paint peel there which has started to rust as well, so a bit rusty around the arches. Looking down the offside of the bodywork, there's a small dent in the driver's door handle. Apart from that you can spot anything else. Um, driver's mirror is not too bad. Driver's door itself, um, as you can see got that small dent just near the door handle there. It's about fingertip size. And looking at the driver's door, a couple of light like, scratches that will require polish. Um, door edge, just one or two very minor little nicks there. Sills okay. Look on the roof, a couple of scratches here and there. Looking at the rear passenger door again, does look quite well actually. Um, no real signs of any marks. A couple of scratches here and there as well. Door edge is pretty clean. Looking around the rear arch, again some paint peel there started to rust. Apart from that, nothing else there. Rear tyre, we're looking at about 4mm and the offside rear alloy as you can see some curbing around that alloy as well so definitely to require a refurb there. Moving towards the rear end of the vehicle looking at the rear bumper now just to be noted it does smoke from the exhaust so there is a bit of smoke coming from the exhaust a bit of a sort of bluey smoke so obviously just be wary of that. You've got some lack of peel on the bonnet there and then quite a large amount of um, peeling to the paintwork there as well so that's going to require some paint Light scratches on the loading bay will require polish. Look on top of the boot, not bad at all. And looking inside the boot, again, just requires a bit of a valet, uh, so we will be giving it a bit of a valet, so it won't be as bad as this. But as you can see, spare wheel is in there as well. Now moving around to the near side rear tyre. Again, we're looking at about 4mm of tread there. Some scratches here, can get my nail into them, so just be aware those are a bit deep. Near side rear alloy again, we've got some curbing around the alloy, so once again, probably going to require a refurb there. Looking down the near side of the vehicle, personally can't see any signs of any dinks or any dents down there. Some chips in the door edge will require some paint. Now we've got some lack of peel on the rear door here, lack of peel on the front passenger door in a couple of places as well. And again, some scratches to the paintwork. Some will polish, some won't. Some are a little bit deeper. Uh, you can get your nail into some of them. Mirror's fine. Front arch, some chips in the paintwork there, a couple of scratches. Front tyre, about 3mm, quite a bit of wearing as well around there. Near side of front alloy, again, some heavy curbing there. So again, it will require a good refurb. Moving around to the front end of the vehicle, you've got some stone chips on the front. As you can see, the plastic grille here. Uh, has cracked and obviously it has come out so just be wary of that quite a few stone chips around the front end of the vehicle as well it's got the black grills which looks really nice in the red as you can see that's what it should look like on the other side and then some stone chips around the front end of the vehicle take a look at the inside now i have got the two-tone full black and grey leather looks very well in the back there's no signs of any damage your book packs there uh, everything's in good order really. Back of the seats again, just need a bit of a clean, but uh, lovely condition inside. Looking at your driver's seat, you've got the Bose sound system inside. Driver's seat, nice S-line seats, slight bit of wearing on the bolsters here. As you can see, again, that's just age related. Front passenger seat's in a lovely condition as well. Dashboard etc, nice uh, stainless brushed finish inside. Dashboard etc is tidy. Steering wheel, again, it is like an Alcantara finish, but obviously it has uh, worn quite a bit with age, uh, but not bad condition at all inside. Now, we're stepping inside the vehicle itself. Now, <clears throat> we do have two sets of keys with the vehicle, as you can see there, and just getting the car started up for you guys. No issue at all starting the car, to start first time. 127,000, apologise for that, 127,261 miles on the clock. No symbols appearing on the dash at all either, as we can see. But obviously, like I said, there is a bit of smoke coming out of the exhaust, so just be wary of that. Um, as you can see, this nice display here. Sound system sounds really good, obviously, with the Bose. 
navigation it does say please insert the nav DVD I've looked around the car, can't see the disc anywhere so it will probably need a nav disc no issues at all with the blowers uh, I've got the Econs on now to be honest it could come out a bit colder so I might need a regas uh, manual transmission on this one looking at the V5, the vehicles had three owners as we can see, three owners MOT here till July 7th 2016 so has got a year's MOT which is spot on and service history wise, <clears throat> as you can see, quite a few Audi stamps here. It was 1736.55, all done at Wearside Audi. 70s Audi, 101 and 105 been your last documented service history. Obviously, 127 now, so it probably will require a service. There you go, guys, that is the 2007 Audi A4 S Line Saloon in red.